first of all, I'd like to thank everyone that's watched the first video and commented like. It's been truly, truly heartwarming how many of you have commented. Sorry I haven't got back to anyone as of yet, but I've been lots going on with my recovery. But yeah, if you haven't seen the first video yet, have a little watch and you'll actually see the horrible crash as well. <laughs> so today feels like a really big, uh, a huge step for me. It's the uh, first day that we're going to our local hospital. Um, so I've got an x-ray for my 10 day post operation uh, and now that uh, I've sort of out of hospital so I had nine days in hospital and this is my first day for like first full day out of hospital it feels like the the road to recovery has really started so straight to Eastbourne Hospital and then we're going to the HYBO oxygen therapy clinic all the way over in Winchester so it's two two hours and ten minutes each way so thanks to Hayley who's behind you for uh, for taking me there and uh, yeah it feels like a step in the right direction and I'm um, really stoked to do it just got to get myself in the, um, the car first so along the way as well there's been so many nice people around to like offer me advice of you know what how they've broken their femur and what they suggest and one of them was this guy suggesting this leg up device which is an absolute life saver to, to help get in the car <coughs> so like you strap it on there because obviously i can't pick up my leg it's like a dead weight and it's slips it oh shit it's literally five times the size of what it was it's a bit smaller now but and then you do that slider in job done so anyway yeah we'll catch you back up once we get to winchester so i've just had the um Pico dressing taken off and what a Pico dressing is is like a vacuum that sits on your cut and then it sucks all the, the fluid out so I've had that on for um, three or four days now and then it sucked all the, the juiciness out the cut but apparently it's looking um, really good so maybe the, oh, we've got another Pico dressing down there actually I will show you it um, but apparently it's not going to need to go back on hopefully see what the doctor says so. So this is the Pico dressing, so it's like I said, a battery pad, vacuum pump. Sucks all the juice out of the cup into the dressing, so it makes it clean the cup quicker. But yeah, hopefully we'll be needing another one of those. So, hospital went fantastically. The um, x-ray results showed that the um, it's all straight. So it's quite common with femur fractures that you don't have a light alignment between like the knee and the hip. So it's all straight, all looking good. The cut's um, really healthy as well. So um, there's like no infections. Um, he even discussed taking the staples out, which normally they do it two weeks afterwards, but he said it's probably a little bit early, but it's looking good. Not only that, the Pico dressing doesn't need to go back on. So really stoked on that. I was really anxious and worried about that, that, um, you know, possibly the, it wasn't in line or there was something wrong with it. And uh, it's massive, massive relief off my shoulders. So now, like I said earlier, off to Winchester, going to the oxygen clinic and uh, I'll, I'll update you when we get there. So yeah, we're nearly there now. So yeah, I've got my treatment for 90 minutes, which is gonna be cool. And I actually haven't, still haven't been home yet because my house is um, like a three story townhouse and I can't actually do stairs yet. So I'm just staying at my mum and dad to, um, I've got a bungalow, so I'm not even staying with my wife, am I? <laughs> no, all the cats. All the cats. Or it's not real life yet. So it's kind of just, yeah, still, still not back to the normal as such. So I think I'll be at the parents for another week or so. And then, uh, and then hopefully back home so I can hang out with you. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice, yeah. So yeah. So here we go. Made it to the HYB auction house. Let's see what all this is about, shall we? Take it easy. 
Let's go. I'll take that cut anyway. Just sit up slowly. How do you feel? Oof. Yes, different experience, definitely. But yeah, 120 minutes with a 95% oxygen. So normally we breathe roughly around 20% normally. So yeah, meant to encourage, well, the um, losing the inflammation from all the muscles, encouraging all the blood to flow around the body and just obviously lots more stuff. Don't really know what it is. So there we go, on the way home after what seemed like an incredibly long day, hospital in the morning at eight o'clock, and then straight to Winchester. Two and uh, a half hours away, yeah. each way. <laughs> Two and a half hours each way, but thank you darling for driving. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, one 120 minutes in the chamber, and if you do feel a bit all weird and stuff, like it's quite an experience. I'd highly recommend it, but um, see how it makes me feel tonight because it's meant to do some like some weird side effects, it's meant to have some crazy vivid dreams and stuff like that. And apparently, like at nine o'clock or whatever, I should just completely crash. So we'll see what happens. And then actually tomorrow morning, straight off, I've got my first physio session. So um, it's all go, but it's all for a good cause. So um, it's the first day really. So it's the next morning and we're on the way to Eastbourne for my first ever physio session and I'm really really excited about it because my knee is so stiff. It's like having a bit of steel attached to my leg that's super heavy and doesn't bend. So I'm looking forward to the physio to um, try and get me through it really and uh, give me some tips. I've had some tips from the hospital already but this is a proper, proper private physio. Let's see what they've got to offer. So yeah, looking forward to it. So today we're at Sportswise uh, Physio in Eastbourne and it's like my first sort of day of having proper physio. So I'm really excited. This knee is so bloody stiff. Such a pain in the butt. So um, this is a first sort of test to sort of start getting me better, start getting me more mobile, start making that knee actually work again. So I'm stoked. Yeah. So I've got to squeeze this ball for 10 seconds. That's going to start firing up my um, adductors and uh, start firing them up. I've got to squeeze this for 10 seconds. So that's the first one done. Looking good. Better than what it was, mate. That's pretty good. One more? Or any more? Yeah, keep going. <sighs> Extension this one. Well. Yeah, looking to really get you blue. Who would have ever thought trying to lift your leg up? That eye is that hard. <clears throat> Not enough. It's, yeah. Uh. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Bloody stiff knee. So painful. Do I reckon? <laughs> so there we go. That's like basically the second week done. Today was a massive step forward. Went to get my x-ray results. Everything's positive. The consultant's really happy. I had my first proper physio session and I went all the way over to Winchester for my first oxygen treatment. So very busy day, all positive. Even had time to get a bit of a hair trim. So cheers for that, Al. Hopefully in the next video, huge more steps as well. So I'm gonna have my staples out, which is gonna be really positive because one, I'll be able to shower properly. But more mainly, the reason why that's so important is once that's healed, I can start to get in the swimming pool and do some um, sort of hydrotherapy. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the support, the comments, the likes, everyone just being so kind. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Cheers, guys.